Wow, stories. I'm a 34-year-old guy, and I have a 16-year-old stepdaughter. My wife is 31. In high school, my wife was a popular girl stereotype. Pink, blonde, chunky highlights in her brown hair. This was the mid-late 2000s. She was on the cheerleading team, had lots of friends and boyfriends, was well-known and liked. She was basically the living embodiment of the picture-perfect girl from those cheesy 2000s high school movies. And then she got pregnant. When she was 15, she had her daughter. She doesn't know who the father is and any potential fathers for the girl up and left way back when. Her daughter is recently 16. I never wanted kids. I found them annoying. But I fell in love with my wife and got married when she was 20 and I was 23 after dating for two years. We hit it off and I married her and decided to suck it up around the kid. I never planned to absolutely love being a dad to her specifically. Kids still annoy me, but my daughter, stepdaughter technically, was different. She was quiet, nerdy, even at a young age. I married her mother when she was five and we clicked right away. We went on daddy-daughter dates every weekend. I played dolls with her, let her paint my nails and do makeup on me. I drove her to and from school in my cop car. We even did daddy-daughter duo costumes for Halloween. Over the past two years, she's developed a darker dress style. I don't know what the proper subculture of her outfits is, but according to her, she's dressing like a horror game protagonist and a monster high character. Purple is her main color she incorporates into this specific aesthetic blend, as she calls it. I don't get it, but maybe that's because I'm a man in my 30s, I don't know. She likes ghosts, tarot cards, vampires, zombies, aliens, creepy Victorian dolls. I don't get it, but also I don't care because if it makes her happy, so what? She's also an introvert and prefers to play games on her computer or read fantasy occult novels rather than hang out with other teens her age. She has friends, so I'm not too worried about her being completely withdrawn. I'm just glad I don't have to drive her around since she only has a learner's permit currently. My wife hates this. My wife always wanted a girly girl. Pinks and pastels and flowers and all that. She wants our daughter to get a boyfriend, be more social, be a cheerleader like she was, which in itself is valid. I get it. I'm sure most every parent has preferences for what they want their kid to turn out like, and some disappointment when they stray from that fantasy is valid. Some. My wife will constantly take and hide my daughter's darker room decor. She constantly gets pastel dresses for our daughter, tells her to wipe off her dark eye makeup, tries to set her up on dates with jock types from my daughter's school, and convince her to sign up for both school and summer activities like cheerleading or volleyball. I could have put up with all of that, I really could have. But a few weeks ago I woke up to my wife finally hitting her breaking point. I woke up in the middle of the night to my wife screaming and having what I can confidently describe as a borderline meltdown. She was crying and saying all she ever wanted was a normal daughter who likes pink and is a cheerleader and has a boyfriend and will give her grandkids. I had to drag her out of the hallway after 30 minutes of this. I kept thinking it would stop, but it kept going on and on. My daughter was just staring at this whole thing in the doorway of her room. What caused this meltdown from my wife? My daughter dyed purple over the blonde streak slash highlights my wife had forced her to get in her hair, which wasn't even breaking a house rule, as my wife and I have both told her she can do whatever she wants with her hair as long as she doesn't stain too many towels. It's been weeks, and my daughter won't talk to her mom. My wife is still up with her antics, but now it's in overdrive. Every day she brings home some type of trendy clothing in pink or pastels and tries to give it to my daughter. My daughter is getting fed up and stays in her room all day and has confessed to me she can't wait for school to start back up in a few weeks so she can get out of the house and be with her friends again. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't want to side with anyone in this situation. I understand my wife wants a daughter who she can relate to, and my daughter wants a mom who understands her. I don't know what I can or should do. I need help. I need advice. Now, for a few comments before the update. Comment 1. 
Your wife needs therapy. Your wife needs to understand that your daughter is a human being and not a doll. She has her own wants and needs. And if your wife keeps this behavior up, your daughter isn't going to have a relationship with her mother as an adult. Tell your wife to read I'm glad my mom died and ask her if that's what she wants for her daughter. Because that's how she's acting. Not the physical abuse, but the mental abuse. When you treat a child like a prop meant to fulfill some role in service of your own goals in life, eventually the child is going to have a come to Jesus moment and just cut mom off. You have a big problem on your hands because your wife is literally not seeing your daughter as a person separate from herself. This is narcissistic behavior. Healthy, adjusted people understand their role in their children's life is to teach, support, and care for them, whoever they become. People like your wife think a child is an accessory. Also, side with your kid. Are you serious? Your daughter needs to know she is free to be whoever she wants. It isn't up to her mother to dictate her life, and you need to put your damn foot down and support your daughter. Comment 2. I don't want to side with anyone in this situation. Whether you wanted to be or not, you are this girl's dad, and as such, you have a duty to protect her from all harm, including emotional harm caused by her mother. That means you have to choose a side, and it has to be your daughter's side. Your wife cares more about not getting the daughter she wanted than she cares about loving the daughter she has. In fact, she's deliberately harming the daughter she has because she refuses to accept who she is. Your wife is 100% in the wrong here, and she's honestly acting like an emotionally hurtful psycho and is doing permanent harm to your daughter that will take her years of therapy to heal from if she lives long enough to escape her mother and get therapy. Kids who aren't accepted by their parents for who they are are fairly high risk for taking their own lives. She needs you to advocate for and protect her. Your wife's disappointment that her child isn't the clone she hoped for is her own nonsense to deal with in therapy, which she desperately needs. Now for the update. A couple weeks after the last incident, the drama at home kept getting worse. It's like a soap opera every day, just without the hot actors. My stepdaughter, who's 16, won't come out of her room for family dinners. It's so bad that I set up the dining table myself and I can hear her in her room with her creepy snacks, like those weird Halloween gummies. I don't even know where she buys that stuff. My wife, on the other hand, is trying her best to reconnect with her. We all know how that's going. She insists on having family game nights every Friday. I mean, I get it, she wants to bond and fix things, but it's like trying to fix a broken vase with glue. It just doesn't work. So on one of those Fridays, I set up some board games in the living room. I tried to create a lively atmosphere, like I was the host of a cooking show, but with no food and less excitement. My stepdaughter reluctantly joined, but get this, she brought her dark-themed game with her. Can you believe that? My wife was not having it. She suggested playing a classic family game, but my stepdaughter refused and things got heated. Like I thought the temperature in the house was actually rising. My stepdaughter stormed off to her room slamming the door so hard I thought it would come off the hinges. My wife yelled after her about being ungrateful. The whole neighborhood probably heard that one. After that, my wife decided to have a girls' night out with her friends. She practically ran out the door, heels clicking, leaving me and my stepdaughter at home. I tried to make the best of it, so we watched a horror movie together. At least we were bonding, right? We both heard the front door slam later that night. It was my wife coming back home. She barged in, clearly upset, and confronted my stepdaughter about her choice of movies. My stepdaughter snapped back, defending her interests and accusing her mom of not accepting her. Days passed with barely any interaction between them, just cold, stiff words when they had to talk. My wife would only say stuff like, pass the milk or good night. I started to notice my wife's behavior changing. She spent more time out with friends. I swear, I was starting to think she had a second life we didn't know about. She started posting pictures of her outings on social media, showing off this carefree life she had without us. It was like a slap in the face, and she didn't even know it. One day, I found out she had been visiting this local bar a lot, often with a group of old high school friends. 
I overheard her talking to a friend about how much she misses the life she used to have before becoming a mom. I wanted to scream, but instead I just stood there, listening. My stepdaughter found the pictures on social media and felt betrayed. I mean, who wouldn't? She believed her mom was trying to escape their family. I get why she felt that way. I tried to talk to my wife about her late nights out, but she just brushed me off. Like I was a fly on the wall. I tried to be understanding, but come on. The family's planned holiday trip came up and my stepdaughter refused to join. She said she couldn't stand being with her mom. My wife insisted on going, saying it was a chance for them to reconnect without the stress of home. I decided to stay home with my stepdaughter, thinking it was best for us both. The holiday went on without us. I got a text from my wife asking if we were okay. I didn't even know how to respond to that. When she came back home, she had this new attitude. She seemed energized but distant. It was like she was a different person. I found out that she had been sharing more about our issues on social media. My stepdaughter confronted her about oversharing our family drama online. And honestly, I was glad someone finally said something. My wife defended her actions, claiming she was just venting. That made my stepdaughter even more mad. The argument escalated, and my stepdaughter accused her mother of not caring about her feelings. Like, can you believe that? After all this, my stepdaughter decided to apply for a summer program away from home to escape the conflict. She got accepted into the program, but it meant she would be away for a month. My wife reacted negatively, saying it was a waste of time and money. That started another fight, and I honestly just stood there. Now, my stepdaughter is packing her bags for the summer program, and it's the most peaceful thing in this chaotic house. She's actually excited, which is a relief to see, but it sucks that she has to leave to get some peace. My wife is still sulking about it, and I just feel stuck between them. I tried talking to my wife about how we need to fix this before it gets worse, but she just shut me down. I get that she's going through it, but we can't keep ignoring this. I'm seriously thinking about going to the program with my stepdaughter, not to be a third wheel, but just to support her and get a break from this madness. It might be the best thing for both of us right now. I'm just so tired of this drama. Still processing. I'm still processing everything, so there might be more updates as I work through it. To answer a few questions, my stepdaughter's summer program is focused on creative writing and will be held at a college campus. She'll be living in a dorm, and she's really looking forward to meeting other kids who share her interests. My wife doesn't know yet, but I plan on visiting her frequently. I need to support her and also get a break from our home. My wife was upset when my stepdaughter applied for the program, as she felt it was unnecessary. I agree it was a bit expensive, but at this point, peace is worth the cost.